Hello everyone, this is my review of set 75386, Paz Vizla and Moff Gideon Battle. This set has 289 pieces and retails for $30 in the US. Now, when we open it up, we will have a small sticker sheet, probably three, yeah, three numbered bags, and an instruction manual. Our first minifigure up is Paz Vizla. Now, LEGO did actually release this uh, Paz Vizla back in, I think, 2020 or 2021, and I actually have that version. Now, at first glance, these Paz Vizlas are the same, but I'm going to show you why. On the new Paz Vizla, we have a little dot up there where this one doesn't. That's probably the smallest difference. But one of the bigger differences is on the new Paz Vizla, we can see on the side of his helmet there, he actually has some printing. And as we can see, if we flip the main figure around, he has that same side helmet printing there, but the old one does not. Now, the armor piece, as far as I can tell, has the same details, just little dots around, and I believe that is the same on both of them, although the the new one looks a little bit more scuffed, but that just might be just a little bit dirt. So, the armor pieces are the same. I'm pretty sure the torso print is pretty much the same, except you'll see there is a little dot, white dot there that is dark and not filled in there. Same on there, we, and we have a lot more scuffing on there, different different deep wearing and details but overall they're the same figure except this one just has a lot more detail a little bit more detail than this one had so yeah but anyway looking back at this one he has a nice machine gun that the old one was just two pieces i don't particularly prefer this one i think that it's just kind of hard to use but overall i think it's really good now, to get him to hold it, as you can see, his left hand is the only hand holding on. This one, it appears it is, it is, but it's actually not. Now, at the back, we have a little jetpack. That would be, like, his ammo, and also it's his jetpack. So, yeah, that's a pretty good Paz Vizla for this set. The next one is a contender for the best minifigure of 2024, and I think I agree with that. This is Moff Gideon. Now, we saw Moff Gideon back in 2020 with the Imperial Light Cruiser, but this one, it has a slight, a slighter uh, skin color change, and the, the hair is the same, but actually, we have a new armor piece here for his helmet, and thankfully, it is not the one like the armors back from 2020, and it is just highly more detailed. It is very bulky, I will say, from the rest of the figure. It comes out a little bit, but I kind of like that. I think that that adds more to the character of what we see. Now, looking at the back, as the Imperial Commandos from yesterday review, they he has that same jetpack, but just in black. And he has the a different one-by-one -one printed tile and a different color. As we can see, he has some great torso printing and leg printing. And overall, I gotta say, this is a stellar, almost perfect, if not perfect, minifigure. And I got no complaints here. These are the Imperial Praetorian Guards. Now, as we can see, they are different than Royal Guards or the Praetorian Guards from The Last Jedi and Episode Nine, I think. Um, as we can see, they have the Electro Staffs, but they are different builds. This one has electricity on both sides, and this one is a more elongated, more stud-built design, but uh, just on one end. They are the same minifigure as, as far as minifigure parts, though. They have great leg printing, torso printing, and they have a new head mold and, well, helmet mold, and I think that looks pretty accurate to what we see in the show. And underneath, for some reason, we just have a red head, but I think it probably would have done to do black, or maybe even just, yeah, just black. But yeah, I think they could have done a little bit better, but also, the set only includes two, but in the scene, we have three. Now, thankfully, in the advent calendar that's coming out, uh, there is a third Praetorian Guard in that, so if you get the battle pack, then you'll be able to, com well, the advent calendar, then you'll be able to complete the scene. But that's another $40 on top of this $40 set. So you have to spend $80 to complete the scene. That's just crazy to me. We have a side build here, and it is the same box from the battle pack from yesterday. And there is nothing different about it. Same builds. And as you can see, you can pop open the box there with the jumper. And there is a thermal detonator inside. Now here is the actual base for the battle. Now we have a couple of studs at the front for our minifigures. This jumper over here, it shows that that is where you will put your box. And with the box on, that doesn't leave much room for minifigures. Now I my prefer preference is to put Paz right there. 
a Praetorian Guard behind him, another Praetorian Guard there, and then there will be another spot for Moff Gideon. So we're going to remove these mini figures temporarily and the box. Looking back at the set, though, we can see there's a lot more rock work around it, just like the other battle pack. We have a control panel that is a 1x2 printed plate that the Lego's been using for that. We have some nice detail for the door here. I like that. And we have some stickers under here for some lights, and these are also stickers. On this side here, we have a lamppost, which that's a little odd, but okay. Over here at the back, we have some studs where you could place a minifigure if you didn't have that front piece. And that is the clip to attach it to the battle pack. Now, looking back here, we, you can see that there is a little ball piece here, and that is where you will pull up. And when you set it down, it just sits right there. And to release that, there on the back here, there's this little tan piece. If you push that down, then you'll see right there, then it pushes up, and then it falls back down. And then when you push and pull this back up, it pulls on that, and then it is locked into place. Now, over here, we have a little sticker there. It is a 2x3 tile. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, it is a sticker of the Imperial Light Cruiser, Moff Gideon's Imperial Light Cruiser. So my preference is to have him displayed with staring at his light cruiser like, I wish I hadn't lost it. <laughs> Just kidding. And uh, we have a red light over here, and we have another connector to connect to the battle pack. And up here, we have the turret. Now, you can actually place a minifigure on that turret. And let me change the camera so we can get a better view of that. Now, with this turret, you can see that there is a little some slopage there on the corners. And then at the front, we have some stud shooters. At the back, we have a 1x2 two, two tile with a jumper plates on the back where you can place Moff Gideon and he can shoot around at the other Mandalorians if there are any, I guess. But what you actually have is... You can lift this up, and this is some storage for studs. Now, what I also prefer to do is... Hold on, let me find something. Okay, I found it. We have Moff Gideon's hair, and what I per personally prefer to do is to store it, I just plop it in there, and then we can plop the turret on top, and now that saves you a little bit of room in your collection, so you don't have to keep that hair piece there. And I think that this looks kind of cool for a display thing but of course that's not really accurate to the show and i prefer to not really have him on there so should you buy this set for 40 dollars i think it is undoubtedly overpriced this set should be 30 dollars. it has 289 pieces as i said and like that price per piece ratio that's not great like when i first bought this and i was when i was putting together the review then i was like how much is this i think it's 30 i was like this is 40 and I was a little shocked there. I think this should have definitely been a $30 set, but no one asked me, of course. And I gotta say, this is definitely overpriced, something you should wait for a sale on to pick up, but definitely something you need to pick up for. Like, that Moff Gideon, that adds a little value. The Praetorian Guards add a little bit of value, but I gotta say, the, that value, that's not worth $10 to me. And I think that this set is as I said, overpriced, and I would not pay more than $30 for it. I think I think when the time comes in a couple months, then you'll be able to find it for 30 maybe 35 35 would be better, of course, but still not great. And even with all those abilities, being able to attach it to the battle pack, as I showed yesterday, you just attach it on the clip there, I think those abilities do not make up for the fact that it is overpriced and that's why I would not recommend paying $40 for this. As I said, you should get it, but just not for $40. That's going to wrap up today's review, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.